Hey fam, welcome back to my channel. It's your girl Jess and my sister. Hello. So today I was thinking I want to do a semi more dramatic look with using less product. So what I was thinking of doing was a winged, making her eyes really enhanced. And then with her skin, we're going to keep it very simple but very easy if that makes sense and this is for all my beautiful women out there who do have a bit more problematic skin so she's just got some dead pimples this one she popped which i told her not to do i had to i'm sorry can can i get a show of hands who touches their face yeah slap that hand <laughs> down <laughs> If you guys like how this video is going, if you want to see more um, problematic skin videos, even skincare stuff that I help my sister to do, please um, leave me a comment down below. Make sure to like and subscribe. And yeah, let's get to the video, honey. So I'm going in with the Instant Age Rewind. Now what I'm going to do is I'm just going to pop this on her eyes close for me. Just using my finger and I'm just going to be blending this out. Now her eyes are set. Now with skin, I'm going in with the NYX Bear With Me. Close for me. So I haven't put any creams on yet. Now for cream, I'm using the Cetaphil Moisturizing Lotion. This is really good for anyone who has sensitive skin, problematic skin. Um, if you're scared of your skin to like, you know, I guess have any fragrance or anything in that, that I'm sorry, not your skin, your actual cream. So this is really good for that. I like to apply a lot of cream. I know people with oily skin get scared, but I think cream and hydration is key. So because I'm not going to be putting a lot of makeup on her actual skin, I'm barely, I'm blending this in, but I don't mind if it's a bit white because while I finish her eyes, this will be settling into her skin. Now, if you know me, you know I love hydration, like I just said. So I'm going in with the Botanica Range Eye Cream. I just ordered the Bobbi Brown one again, because that was my favorite eye cream. It's just very hydrating. I'm also going to be using a different technique on her under eyes. I just want to trial it out, because I want to do a video about how to get no wrinkles under your eyes. So. We're going to trial it out today together and see how we go. So her skin is prepped. I'm going in with the Coco Naughty um, Bronzer. Oh my god, I literally like just stuttered because I had no idea what I was saying. And I'm going to get you to look straight for me. And the reason I did that, I just want to kind of figure out where I'm going to start blending her little creases so you can close now. Now this is just a Morphe brush. And I'm just very lightly kind of buffing that all in her crease. Now I'm going to be trying this Maybelline Tattoo Studio Ink Liner. So I have tried it once on myself and I didn't really like it. But I want to try this on her because my lashes kept getting in the way. So I'm going to give it a go and hopefully I don't hate it. <laughs> so I'm going to get her to close for me. Now, if you haven't seen my eyeliner video, I highly recommend you see it. I'll list it at the top for you. So I'm going to do the other wing and we'll be right back. So I want to finish off her under eyes and like I said, I want to try this new method. So I'm applying some of the Urban Decay All Nighter. Look up for me. So this is a actual skin uh, uh, eye primer, but I'm putting it under her eyes. So now let's use a concealer. I'm using, so this is a liquid concealer. He, re he recommends using a liquid one. This is the Instant Age Rewind. I'm not actually going to use any foundation on her skin. I'm just going to be using this concealer. And the main reason I want to do this is because I want to show you, you can still have a beat face and just apply a bit of concealer. So now I'm applying the concealer and put a bit on her nose, a bit on her forehead, putting a little bit on where her pimples are, a bit down here, on her, along her chin. I know this looks a bit light, but just wait until it's all on. Now this side has a bit more 
acne prone or acne I guess I don't know acne prone how what I was trying to say so now with this small fluffy blending brush I'm gonna start by blending the forehead first again if you haven't seen our video before about um, how to cover up acne scarring and stuff I'll list it up here I'm doing the same technique that I did on with that video do you feel like you need to open your mouth when I do under eyes? No, actually I don't. Oh. It was very comfortably closed. Hmm. What about when you do it on yourself? When I do my own concealer? Yeah, do you have to open um, your mouth? I think I do. Mm. I think I have it's to try theme. it. Now I'm using the Laura Mercier. And I'm going to apply this directly under her eyes. I applied the littlest bit. around her nose. Now I'm going back in with the Fenty Beauty Coco Naughty and I'm taking this Real Techniques, I'm pretty sure this is a contour brush, I'm pretty sure, because the thing is rubbed off. So this was the same um, color that we used on her eyes and I'm just very lightly sweeping that on her forehead, a bit on her nose and Dabbing that around her face just to give a bit more dimension. Very light handed, and I'm actually bringing it a bit higher up mainly because we're not using a blush for this look. Now I'm going in with the MAC NC30, and I'm just going to mainly use this to blend out everything, kind of going very lightly around it. See how that has just already blended this section? So blend around the edges and it just looks much softer than opposed to actually going in and blending just a little technique and it gives you a bit more coverage on your pimples as well turn face me so I like to start around this area because we get a lot of texture around there we do her lips and I'm using the MAC stripped down lip liner I'm going in back with Coco Naughty and I'm actually going to put a bit of that right under her eye. So yeah, look up for me. So I'm going to put some individual lashes. This is, this is just mainly to kind of open up her eyes a bit more, give her a bit more like of a cat-ish look. And I'm mainly popping this on the outer third of her eye. So I just put on her lashes. I haven't curled or put mascara on yet, but I'm going, this is a really like easy trick. If you want shiny lips, but you don't want to use like a lip balm or whatever, I'm using the purple and I kept the middle of her lips like, like not filled in. I was going to say hollow, <laughs> but um, mainly because I kind of wanted to give it that effect on purpose. So see how it just looks like she's got gloss on. I'm going to go ahead and curl her lashes. So I'm going to get her to look down for me and to look that way. I'm using this little curler from Model Rock. You don't have to do this, but it is something that I've been doing forever now. So so I hope you guys can see the difference between the curled and the non-curled. Can you see? So I like to lift. And I don't really care if I get my actual nail. It's not about me, it's about her. Now I'm going in with my brow soap. You can use hairspray like I said in my previous video. If you guys haven't watched that, it's makeup for men. And it's just really simple. I feel like we need to also normalize that. I'm not going to put any product in her brow. She's got pretty good brows. Alright my loves, this is the final result. I hope you guys enjoyed it. So we really only on the face put concealer, bronzer and a bit of powder. Um, and it was mainly focused on the eyes. So this is just like also a quick but kind of a glammy look for when you don't want to be taking off your foundation and 10,000 layers. So I just wanted to show you that even if you do have problematic skin, you can still look incredible like she does. 
and have only what like four or five products to use so yeah thank you guys so much for watching i hope you enjoyed it she looks absolutely incredible and yeah we'll see you in my next video make sure to hit that like button and subscribe and let me know what you want to see next thanks guys you can say bye actually bye <laughs>